little bit stretched here. All right. Every morning, I wake up and I look forward to a steaming hot cup of green tea. Packed with antioxidants and other healthy compounds, I can have a comforting drink and feel like I'm doing something good for my body. One morning, I got up to make my tea, a new brand this morning, and I took a sip and I thought, what in the world is that? Surely not green tea. There's something that looks like crushed up leaves in the tea bag, but how could I really be sure what it is? I remember then suspiciously looking at my cabinet full of other herbal products. Should I be worried? The thing is that this is a very relevant concern in the natural health product industry. Labs such as my own have been able to extract the DNA, DNA from these products and use it for the purpose of identification. With that, we detected adulteration, such as substitution of ingredients for cheaper alternatives. This makes me mad. Not only do I want to be able to trust ingredient labels and avoid potential allergic reactions, but I want to get what I'm paying for. Perhaps more frustrating is that there's pushback from industry regarding the adoption of DNA-based product authentication techniques, impeding an efficient approach to safety and regulation. So why is this? What's the holdup? This is where my research comes into play. My lab approaches authentication with DNA barcoding. By reading select regions of DNA from a product of interest, we can use it like a barcode and precisely identify what plant we're looking at at the species level. Understandably, this counts on being able to recover sufficiently attacked DNA from products. Now, we know that DNA can be damaged by factors such as high heat. High heat and other potentially damaging treatments are routine in the processing of many of these herbal products, like my green tea or green tea derivatives. Now, unfortunately, industry skeptics are going so far as to claim that DNA is not at all present in these processed products. But this is an assertion not founded on scientific evidence. So armed with my love for tea, I set out to investigate what happens to the integrity of DNA as you move through processing. I designed an experimental model to look at the quantity and quality of DNA that can be extracted from products after their production. What I found with green tea, after measuring it in each step of processing from a tea leaves to a powdered tea extract product, was that there was indeed significant degradation and removal of DNA through processing. But even after an intensive regime, sufficiently intact DNA could be recovered for the purpose of identification. My hope is that studies like this can pioneer the adoption of DNA barcoding in industry for an efficient approach to natural health product authentication. After all, I want to be able to wake up in the morning and drink my tea stress-free. Thank you.